Hello team, welcome to my session on Coffee with Prab and today we're going to discuss about the different type of DR site which is mapped with my coffee shot. Make sure watch this video till last because I also added a snacks in this video. My name is Prab Nair. For more information, you can refer my LinkedIn profile and this video is useful for IC Square in Isaka aspirants who are preparing for their CISSP, CCSP, CSSLP, AP, CRISC, CISA, CSAM exam. So without wasting a time, let's start with the first part. Thank you. Okay, so first question is Aspirants Limited is planning to build an alternate site for e-commerce business services. E-commerce means maximum availability because in e-commerce we are primary concern about the availability. And uh, their primary requirement is to make the site with the maximum availability. So which site will you suggest most to implement? Option A, mirror site. See, if we talk about the mirror site, mirror site is like that. So we have a site one and we have a site two. So site one has a people, process, technology data, and we have a site two, people, process, and technology data. If the site one is down, we can able to switch the operation to site two and site two can continue in the case of downtime. They are basically work in the active, active mode. Active, active mode. But in the case of hot site, we have a people, we have a process, we have a technology, we have a server. What we don't have is a data. So we need to move data and make it as an operational. In the case of warm site, we have a people, we have a process, we have a partial technology. Like we have a rack, but we don't have a server. We have a cable, we have a telecom and everything. So in the case of disaster, we need to move server, we need to move data and make it as an operational. In the cold side, we, it is like an empty shell where we have only a power and water. Here the question specifically talking about the requirement of e-commerce, which is a maximum availability they're looking for because their business is driven by the website and, and they're also looking for the maximum availability. So if you go by the restoration part, mirror site is basically the most relevant. That's why the answer is A for alpha and the keyword is most, most is basically mean mandatory. Let's move to the next coffee shot. Okay, so which site is most expensive? The keyword is most expensive and extensive IT risk mitigation strategy. Extensive mean maximum. So mirror site, definitely it offer the maximum availability with that we can able to mitigate maximum risk. Option B hot site, which is comparatively less compared to mirror site in terms of the availability. Then we have a cold site, cold site, uh, sorry, warm site. Warm site is basically having a people process and partial technology. They don't have a server, they don't have a data. So it is basically less better than hot site. And cold side we can ignore because it does not have things. So keyword is basically talking about the most expensive. So in the case of most expensive, the most close option is basically mirror side because in both location, we need a same kind of a people process and technology and data. That's why the answer is A. Let's move to the next coffee shot. Okay, next coffee shot is, what is the true statement regarding a primary difference between the mirror site and hot site? Option A, identical configuration different. Okay, definitely in mirror side, we have a people process and technology and data, updated data. In the hot side, we only have a people process and technology and we have a server, but we don't have a data. So A, A make more sense because um, when you're talking about the configurations are different in both sides, okay? Option B, same configuration, same data, which is not true because in the mirror is active, active, hot side is basically active, passive. C, hot site is active, active, and mirror site is active, passive, which is a wrong statement. And D is hot site configure with no server, where the mirror site configure with only active server, no data, which is a completely wrong statement. So when you're talking about uh, overall, actually uh, we are eliminating B, C, and D based on the features, actually, okay based on the features because B when they saying same configuration, same data, it is basically a false statement. Okay, because uh, uh, in the case of both side, the, the data is basically differ. And if I go by C, C is also a false statement. And uh, actually, if you, if you go by the C and D, I'm eliminating because of the characteristics what they mentioned, which, fall, which is basically false. And I'm going with the A as the answer because definitely hot side is basically having a different configuration because it is configured with only server. 
and the mirror side is basically configured uh, you know with the same configuration so that is a thin line difference between mirror and hot side in mirror side data is there in hot side we don't have a data okay so that is the biggest difference in terms of identical configuration and that characteristics referred in the a statement whereas a b c d is a completely as a characteristics itself is a false statement that's why i'm going with the answer a let's move to the next coffee shot okay so which site facility appropriately sized to support system requirement and configure with the necessary system hardware supporting infrastructure and supporting people definitely in the case of mirror side we have a data so which is missing here in warm side we don't have a server we have a hvac system we have a cablings we have a network and all that but we don't have a server cold side is a empty data shell so only option is basically left with the hot side because on a hot side we have a alternate side with people process technology and server we just need to move data and make it as an operational that is why the answer is b for beta let's move to the next coffee shot thank you so question is which site partially equipped space that contains some or all the system hardware software telecom and power source they just clearly mention contains some or all of the system hardware some it's mentioned so in the case of mirror side we have a all with data so a eliminate cold site is basically eliminate directly because in a cold side we don't have a hardware so we left with hot side and warm side in hot side we always have a all but in the warm side we have only the partial technology because of the keyword some or all i am going with the answer warm side the thin line difference between the warm side and hot side in hot side we have a people we have a process we have a technology we have a server but in the case of warm side we have a people we have a process we have a partial technology but there is no server we need to move server and make it as an operational so thin line difference in warm and uh, hot side is that in hot side we have a server in a warm side we don't have a server and because of the keyword called some i'm going with the answer warm side let's move to the next coffee shot thank you okay which type of site can survive with the longest mtd it mean we can go for the highest and highest mtd one thing you need to remember when you going for the highest mtd it come with a less cost and if you want a lowest mtd it come with a high cost okay it's like you know you want to restore fast right so you have a less waiting period so question talking on which type of site can we survive with the longest mtd mirror cannot be because mirror required the show, uh, sh uh, shortest mtd so a is eliminate b is basically hot site definitely um, it makes sense because anything is less than mirror site is hot site but hot site will be active in 24 hours warm site is like 24 to 48 but the only close option is cold site because most of the time or maximum time which take to restore the service happen in the cold site because everything we need to move to the cold site for an operation so that is why the answer is d for delta let's move to the next coffee shot thank you okay good question your company has chosen the external hot site because of its cost and ability to use it on demand keyword is cost and on demand we have a two type of hot site external or internal external is basically mean which is already built by someone and we have used that on a subscription basis today cloud is also a hot site which is available on demand so question talking about you have chosen external hot site because of the cost and ability to use it on demand although using an external hot site has an excellent advantage from a liability point of view but it also has some of the significant drawbacks. So keyword here is drawback. The keyword is basically drawback. Okay, so what is the primary drawback of an external hot site? Option A, cost, cost is not a concern because cost is not a disadvantage. Cost, cost is basically the advantage we have. So A is basically eliminate. Usage of the proprietary configuration of vendor makes sense because we have a site one. We are running with some IBM servers and all that. And then we have a cloud-based site. They're using a, some other configuration server. So when I'm doing a migration from a site one to cloud, there is a possibility the application can fail miserably. So there is a possibility if they're using some kind of a proprietary, I might not able to migrate. So B is basically eliminate. C, accessibility system, that is a maximum availability we have. So C, definitely remove. And D is accessibility network, that is already they have. So the biggest concern is basically B for beta. So we have to check their proprietary configuration. According to that, we need to decide the migration. That's why the answer is 
B for beta. Let's move to the next coffee shot. Thank you. Okay, so which site require having an operational support? Operational support nearly equal to the production. Cold side definitely remove because in cold side we have nothing. Warm side it only have a server. Uh, it only have a rack, uh, cables and everything. We need to move server. So that is definitely not very close. So only option is left with A and B. Mirror site is equal to production. It's actually an alternate production site. So A is eliminate. So only option left is B. Because in a hot site, we don't have a recent data. We need to move data and make it as an operational. The keyword is operational support and nearly equal to. So we have an alternate site with configure with people process technology server. In the case of primary site is done, we can use the secondary site as a hot site by just moving a data because rest everything is there. But in the case of mirror site, mirror site, both are basically working active active. So this is basically the identical to the production environment and both are working simultaneously. So only close option is basically called as a B because by just moving a data, we can make it as an operational. Okay, let's move to the next coffee shot. What is the primary advantage of cold site? Option A, cost of operation less, makes sense. Cost of data less, but there's no data. Cost of IT less, but there's no IT. Cost of service less. Okay, so D, C, B is overall part of the A because if we, if we don't have, if we have a less data, if we have a IT less, we have a service less, overall we have a running operation less cost, right? Because overall, the cold side advantage is basically the, the cost of operation is less. Okay, because there's no data, there's no IT, there's no service. So overall BCD is part of the A. That's why we're going with the A as an answer. Let's move to the next coffee shot. Okay, so which site should have a most recent version of backup data loaded, require only updating with the data since the last backup? Definitely cold side or warm side is removed because in that case server is also not there. Left with A and B, mobile site is already active. Uh, mobile site is basically mean the site is mobile from one location to other location, but there's no data. In the case of hot site, we already have a data. We just need to update the recent data and make it as an operational. So that is where the close option from my point of view or from the exam point of view is basically B. Okay, because they have everything. We just need to move the recent data and make it as an operational. In the case of mirror site, active, active, but hot site is active passive because of the not having a recent data. Let's move to the next coffee shot. Thank you. So in which type of site may two or more organization with a similar or identical system configuration and backup technology enter into the formal agreement or enter into the joint contract to serve as an alternate site for each other? Two keywords are there, two or more organization, Okay, identical systems and configuration, joint contract. So definitely hot site we are creating for a dedicated site, warm site we are creating for dedicated site, cold site we are creating for the dedicated company. So we have a agreement between the two companies. So we have a company one and we have a company two. Okay, so they have basically has a common agreement that in the case of disaster, my employees can use your space and your employee can use my space. So by this way, no one has faced the upfront any kind of a cost. Because for company one, the site two is company two. And for the company two, the site one is company one. So they don't need to do any kind of a upfront investment. So this kind of an agreement is called as a reciprocal agreement. But, 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 before going for the reciprocal agreement, check the regulatory requirement and check the location. If both buildings are in the same location, then there is a possibility of the single point of failure. Okay, that's why the close option is basically A for alpha, reciprocal agreement, okay? So two companies wish to share their risk, wish to share their uh, site and all that for the disaster services and all that, then that is called as a reciprocal agreement. The best example of reciprocal agreement is host hotel industry, hospital industry, healthcare industry. They're sharing the beds in the case of disaster. So patients can use other hospitals. Hotels, when they book fully booked with the rooms, they can use another hotels for the collaborations. So this is how they can able to satisfy the customer also and maintain the service. That's why the answer is A for alpha. Let's move to the next coffee shot. Thank you. So which site require the longest recovery time for business? Mobile site is not required because it is already equipped with the technology. We just need to move data and make it as an operational. Best example in India, SBI ATM. Lot of towers, ISPs are using this mobile site. 
hot site is basically have a some partial data we just need to move the recent data and make it as an operation so it will not take longest recovery time but yes longest as compared to the uh, active active warm site definitely required more time than hot site but cold site is maximum required because in the case of cold site we need to move everything that's why the answer is basically d so let's have some coffee to and or sorry let's have some snacks okay so you can enjoy the snacks with this coffee so this is the example we have so when i say redundant site okay redundant site is also called as a mirror site okay in that case both location we have a same data same server rack and water and power in the case of hot site we don't have a real time data we need to move the recent data server is there rack is there power is there in the case of warm site there is no data there is no server only they have a hardware rack and we have a power water in the case of cold site they have nothing they only have a power and water and some new if we talk about new site they configure with the hvac so this is all from my side if you find this video useful do share in a comment what is the next video shall i make and how these videos is basically changing your career how these videos changing your perspective about your certification prep do let me know in the comment box and uh, for more information about my inventory of all the coffee shops or cssp and other thing you can visit my website called prabhnai.in and i will looking forward for the feedback on this video in the comment box which actually truly mean to me and based on that i will try to improve my videos further thank you goodbye bye